this is literally an episode just dedicated for your guys' questions. Um, guys, I have really, really good news. Like, fantastic news. Do you guys want me to break it to you? Probably. Well, I got an email and it says, Hi, Troy. Hope all is well. I have some cool information that might interest you. Your podcast, Troy Talks A Lot, has good performance in our Apple Podcast rankings for the last 30 days. You are number one in all podcasts in Montenegro. You are number one in education podcasts in Montenegro. You're number five in education podcasts in El Salvador. You are position eight in category education in Serbia. Position eight in education in Zimbabwe. Uh, there's other ones like like Portugal and other places. But um, how cool is that, guys? We're really kind of making a little bit of an impact. And I'm just happy that people, one, listen to my episodes. And two, that you guys have just watched so many shows and episodes and shared it with so many of your friends for that to even happen in the first place. So I was so happy. I sent it to my parents and they're like, oh my God, that, that's, that's so cool. Um, I had no idea. So all I can say is, and it was a team effort of all of us. It wasn't just me. Um, I just want to say thank you. That is so cool. All right, my last video, I said I was handing out a $25 gift card to Starbucks. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the comments of my last video and choose the winner for this week. This week's winner is... Oh, Gwyneth5290. I'll be reaching out to you ASAP to send you a nice little gift card for Starbeast on your boy. I feel like we should run that again because who doesn't love free Starbucks? You guys want a $25 gift card to Starbucks? All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below on this video 10 times. Let's get in the video. Anyways, with that being said, since we hit such a cool milestone, let's make this episode all about you guys because you're the reason that we're even here in the first place. So one, I love you. Two, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And three, just... Let's get a little selfish and, uh, you know, figure out your guys' problems. Because we already know that you're all sorts of fucked up. <laughs> that was rude. I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyways, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Troy Talks A Lot. This is season three, episode four, I believe. Um, I don't know what to title it other than it's just your questions. All about you. All right. This one is titled, Friends With Benefits Guy. And I like him and I need advice. Okay. That's what we're here for, baby. Hi, Troy. I love your videos, and I love the advice you give, and I need your help on what I should do. I'm going to stop you right there. I don't give advice. I just throw in my two cents. But thank you, and I love you too. My name is Z, and I'm 19 years old, and at the beginning of the year, I met a guy on Tinder. And long story short, he was my first everything. Kiss, etc. I saw him three times over the time span of a month or so, but he only wanted to be friends with benefits, and at the time, I wanted more, so we ended things and stopped talking. Good for you. Just recently, he reached out to me, and we started talking again, and I've seen him once already, and I'll just say things got steamy. He's a really nice guy, and even after being intimate with him, we can go back to having a genuine conversation. I don't want to stop seeing him as he fulfills my body's needs. <laughs> she actually put in ha ha ha. So I'm happy having the FWB thing with him, but I also want it to go further. He's 26, so is a fair bit older than me. Also has a few girls that he sees on a regular basis for hookups. Okay. I have also seen a few guys as just a casual thing. I don't want to stop seeing him, but I want it to go further kinda I think do I keep things casual with him or try and take it further do I maybe move on question mark or even your opinion would be greatly appreciated thank you Z um huh well <clears throat> let's just be honest uh, since he was your first for everything um, you have a very special bond with him that doesn't necessarily mean that he feels the same way but when you kind of give up your first to somebody, there's just a different connection as opposed to going out and just hooking up with a random person. Mind you, you don't know him all that well. But like I said, since it's your first, the connection's a, a bit deeper and more meaningful um, than if you were just to go out and have already been with a couple other people prior to hooking up with that person. Um, 
I think it's weird that you know, or if he's telling you, oh, I have multiple other people on my roster. Um, okay, douchebag, good for you. Um, also, he's a bit older than you. He's 26, you're 19. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. However, it just doesn't seem like he's really trying to settle down with you, given that you're, like I said in previous podcasts, giving him everything that he'd want in a relationship without needing to be in the relationship and allowing him that freedom and that opportunity to go out and explore his other options without feeling that guilt. Listen, I understand that everybody has needs and you want to go out and have fun. I get it. But at the same time, you do want things to go a little bit further than what they appear to be being right now. Like, again, I, I don't want to tell anybody not to do something, but you know what you want. And if that person isn't willing to fulfill that, then I feel like you should go out and explore other options of people that are willing to do that. You know, um, you've done it once before you've left and you guys stop talking. Like I say, they always come back around when they fail to replace you, which is basically what's going on. You know, he has apparently a couple other people lined up, but for whatever reason, he seems to be coming back around to you. So I don't want to get your hopes up and be like, oh, well, maybe just maybe he sees something a little bit more. But because, again, he's saying like, oh, he's just more into the whole friends with benefits kind of thing. Um, if I were you, I would just be like, hey, cool. You want to do friends with benefits? Perfect. You apparently got a sweet roster over there. Go entertain those girls. And when you're looking for something serious, I won't be here. Because honestly, you shouldn't be somebody's backup plan. That's my two cents. Listen, if you're just trying to have a good time and go fuck, go have a great time. If he's laying it down too, then it's a win-win. But uh, you can't get mad at yourself if you continue to do this over and over and over and uh, he doesn't want to become anything more because again he's getting his cake and he's eating it too all without the title on to the next love you Z all right here we go sir I'm from Los Angeles and I met this guy from a group chat the group chat was for a sex party hold the phone a sex party all right, the group chat was for a sex party called GBU, and I was promoting the event and considered playing too. And then this guy, Bailey, ends up messaging me privately outside the group chat, and we ended up moving to Instagram and then on to iMessage and would text nonstop about real stuff. He ended up telling me he prefers FaceTime over text, and thank God because I do too. So we plan a FaceTime call for the night, and had a wonderful conversation, talked about some really deep stuff on both sides. We ended up doing a few more FaceTimes and met in person in West Hollywood at the bars, and things seemed good. Didn't kiss him or anything, but it went well. Last night we had the sex party, and I went to his hotel beforehand, and he... What the fuck? Oh, you didn't finish the rest of the set? Oh, that was getting so good. That was getting so good. Damn. It just cut off, guys. There was there was no... Fuck. That was... Oh, I was getting fired up for that one. All right. Well, all right. Never mind. On to the next one, I guess, guys. Here we go. All right. This one's called, How Can I Deal With a Guy Who's Bad For Me? If only I had the answer, sister. If only I had the answer. Hello, Troy. I had a hoe phase in the summer, but... On my birthday night, September 9th, I lost my virginity with one of the dudes I was hooking up with on our second date. He was an Italian guy. The sex was amazing because I liked his body, but at the end of the night, he treated me bad by acting cold, and he asked me to leave. I left, but he didn't pay for the Uber or ask if I got home safely. He texted me saying happy birthday next day because it was my birthday, and a week later, he texted me if I was able to hook up with him. And I said no, because the two times I went out with him was at his house, and he never took me out to dinner or pay for anything. I'm the one who has to go see him, even though he lives an hour and 30 minutes away. And since that day, I always stalk his Instagram and see new girls following him and commenting on his posts. They look nothing like me. I'm a black girl, and they're blonde. 
and my gut's telling me he's seeing someone, but nowadays he stalks me too, like liking and highlighting my stories, and I know he wants to get in my pants again. I'm not a fool. I don't want to get disrespected again. The way he acted that night made me feel cheap, but I still like him, and I know it's bad. I don't want to hire my body count, but I can't do friends with benefits. I'm afraid that I may have fell in love with him, and I might 100% break my heart, so I'm confused if I should let him go or be in a situation with ship with him. I'm 20, and he is 27. Oh my gosh. That one's just another case of, of them getting their cake and eating it too. Hopefully you guys are seeing a pattern. Listen, I made a video about this and some girls got really pissed at me. But the video is called Close Your Fucking Legs. Um, basically, just don't give it up too soon. And if you do, shit like that is going to happen. And it's because... Men obviously want sex. It's not the first thing they think of, but it is definitely one of the top. Women are nurturers, okay? Women hold the power because pussy is power. Guys have to work to get that power. However, once the transaction, a.k.a. you guys fuck, have sex, the power dynamic then shifts where now the guy has the power and the girl develops that emotional connection with the guy in which he's now in control of that relationship. Does that make sense? Before you guys ever do anything, you know, the girl has the power because she's like, no, no, no. Even though the guy's like, yes, yes, yes. Right? He wants it. He's chasing it. He's chasing it. Once he gets it, then he could start walking away. And the girl is now mentally going to switch and start chasing after him because she wants that love affection that tlc right that attention so this whole power dynamic shifts as soon as you open your legs which is why when you make him earn it and you guys go on dates and dates and dates and you know maybe you start dating i don't know what your guys's rule is there's no perfect rule by the way that's why the longer you make him wait the more he'll appreciate you the more he'll respect you the more he'll prioritize you and the higher on his totem pole you are let's just put it this way let's just call a spade a spade it's like going to a strip club a guy pays for sex do you think he's putting her up here on the totem pole no because she was easy he just literally went in and paid for it now let's just take it a step further guy goes to a club he's drunk girl's drunk they go back home they have a one-night stand bada bing bada boom he never sees her again you think she's gonna be up there on the totem pole or do you think the girl who makes him wait, I don't know, let's just say your rule is five date rule. Five date rule, you guys do really fun, cute, cuddly, romantic things. He's holding the doors for you. He's doing really thought out dates. He's taking you fun places. He's picking you up. He's paying for meals. You know, he's doing something extravagant. That's very like thought out. You know, it's, it's just he's, he's done the whole nine yards. Now that he's put in all this work, to get your attention, to get your approval for him to put his stamp on it, shall I say. Now you're going to be up here because he had to work his way up the ladder in order to get you. Finally, when he gets the sex, he's invested so much time into you, into getting it, that he's not just going to throw that away. So the longer you make him wait, the more he'll respect and appreciate you as a person, not just the pussy. Okay, we're just gonna leave that out of the equation. He'll just look at you different as opposed to someone who just gives it up on the first or a second date. I'm happy to know that you know he's bad for you, but you're not in love. Okay, you're not in love, you're in lust. Anyways, on to the next one. Love you, you're not in love with him. Oh, here we go. Hi Troy, love your videos and your advice has been so helpful. I was wondering if I could have your advice or if you could maybe talk about this kind of scenario slash topic in your video. I have been talking to this guy for a couple months. We have been on three dates and things were doing are going great. The last time we met up, he asked if I wanted to be in a relationship. Oh, okay. After the date, we talked for a few weeks and everything seemed fine. But then all of a sudden, we stopped talking for a while and something seemed off when we were texting. He wasn't replying as quickly or making conversations, so I messaged him to see if he was okay, and he said he's not looking for a relationship right now because there are some things that have come up, but he hopes that we can still keep in touch. 
I replied by saying that I understand and that it's fine if we need to take a break and if we haven't spoken and we haven't spoke and we haven't spoken since. If you have any advice or suggestions on what he could mean by this and what I should do, I would really appreciate it. Also, I'm sorry for such a long email, but I thought you might need some context. You're not a priority. But to give you a little bit more context, I'm sure the dates were fun. I'm sure they were great. He probably asked you that just out of curiosity. Uh, maybe just asked you that in the moment. Sometimes guys just say shit in the moment to hopefully get what they want. Shocker, I know. I'm just going to give it to you straight because I'm not going to sugarcoat it and I don't want to waste your time. He's just not that into you. So the best thing that you could do is give him a space because he's probably doing it with other people. He's probably just found someone else that he's entertaining right now. And I guarantee you once that doesn't work out, he'll come back around because you'll be the next best thing. But you don't want to be the next best thing. You want to be the only thing. So what you're going to do is just tell him to go fuck himself, but in a polite way, which means honestly, you shouldn't even give him the time of day and, I don't think he deserves a response. Listen, you could go on a couple dates. That's the point of dating is like you go out on several dates. That doesn't mean that you go on one or two dates or three in this case. And instantly it's a perfect connection. Maybe you guys after three dates realize, oh, maybe they just weren't for me. So maybe he's feeling that. Or maybe he went on a couple dates with somebody else and is finding a better connection with, you know, Samantha. I don't know. You ever see The Bachelor or The Bachelorette? There's like 25 guys that come in to date one girl. Eventually, guys start going home because their connection just isn't what they wanted. So it's no hard feelings on you. You shouldn't feel bad. It's just maybe he's out there finding somebody else. Uh, maybe it just wasn't a match and he's not actually talking to someone else. He's prioritizing his own shit. Um, or option C, who the fuck cares what he's thinking right now? Let's just focus on you. And well... That just didn't work out. No worries. It's called dating for a reason. You're still young. Plenty of fish in the sea. Let's go back out there. How's that sound? Sorry if that was harsh. I'm still so bummed about that sex party one. I was really fired up about that one. But it's a little late, so I want to go to bed because I'm a little tie tie. Anyways, that one was fun. I might have to do those more often. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like, maybe a little comment down below. Those always are nice. They're very much appreciated. I love you guys so much. Have a good night and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.